Hey, so this is just a quick video to show how to use Unreal front end to package your games. It's how I always do it, and it's actually the correct way to do it. So most people will go to file, package project, and then whatever platform you're building for, but that's actually not the correct way to do it. If you're running Unreal Engine out of the launcher, then you're gonna wanna go to window, project launcher right here. And this is actually Unreal front end. And then down here, you can see the different games that I've been packaging for. If you've never used front end, then this will be empty for you. So this project here is the survival project I've been slowly working on. And now let's say I wanted to package this up so that other people can play it. So number one, I want to get the map name here. It's just called demo map. That's obviously not a good name, but we'll just use it. And then what I'm going to do is go into the project launcher. And then right here, I'm going to click the plus sign to add a new launch profile. Now up here, this is the name. So I'm going to want to call this like survival game, for example. And here you can be more specific because if you're doing a multiplayer game and you're going to have servers and stuff like that, you might do one that's like dedicated server. And then you'll have like another profile here for the client. So as you can see here, I have let it flow server, let it flow steam. I just have different profiles here because I was testing stuff, but you're going to want a different profile depending on what you're compiling. So in our case, this is just for clients and you can enter a description if you want. I'm not going to do that. Then the project, you're going to want to go select your project. By default, it's selected my project here. This is what my project's called just because I do tutorials in this project. But if the project isn't listed, then you're going to want to click it and go to browse and then find your project. Now, the next step is this build part. So you're going to want to select build and then configuration. You're going to want either development or shipping. So for example, my Steam project here for Let It Flow. This is obviously for shipping because the game is on Steam. But let's go back here. This is not a dedicated server. So let me just get rid of this. Let's just call this client. Like this is the version that most people are going to get. So let's say the game's not ready for release. Obviously, we're going to just do development, advanced settings. I just leave that alone. Next up, we have the cook section and you want to do buy the book. And now what you're going to want to select here is the platform you're cooking for. So again, if you're packaging like a dedicated server, you'll do Windows Server, or maybe it's Linux. So you might do a Linux server. Just depends which platform you're building the game for. What I like to do for the client is just Windows No Editor. I've actually never tried Windows or Windows Client. You can go ahead and try those if you want. But for Let It Flow Steam, this is the version that's on Steam that people play. Like this is the released version and I have it as Windows No Editor and it works just fine. So let's go back here, quick cultures. It should have EN for English automatically. Yeah, see, so it's checked. Now this is the next important part is the maps. You gotta select the maps that, you gotta select the maps that you want your game to actually have. Now, if you have like a lot of pre-made assets and marketplace stuff, you're not gonna wanna select every map. You're not gonna wanna do this. What you wanna do is select maps or levels that the game actually uses. So for example, you're gonna want your menu levels and then every level that's actually in the gameplay. In our case here, I just have demo map. So I'm just gonna do that. And this is why demo map is a bad name because it could be hard to find in this list. So just select all the maps you have. Don't forget the main menu. And then in release DLC, we'll come back here if we need to, but I think we just leave that alone. And then advanced settings, I like to do iterative cooking. This helps a package really quickly compress content. And then I think we have to uncheck this, but we'll see. I also like to check this store all content in a single file, puts everything in a pack file. And then again, you can set this to shipping if you're shipping, but for us, I'm going to do development package. How would you like to package the build? I do package and store locally. So then you're going to want to browse and you're going to want to go to your project folder. And then maybe just make a new folder or you don't even have to do that. You could just select your project folder and just do that. If you're shipping your game, you might want to check this, but I don't think it matters. Let's see. Let it flow steam. Yeah, see, I didn't even check that here. So it doesn't really matter. Archive, I keep that unchecked. Deploy, let's do do not deploy. And that's it. Should be good to go. Okay, so still not good to go because it says unversion build. So that's that part down here. Where is it? Where is it? Save packages without version. I think we have to uncheck this. Yeah, see, so now we can build. So then you're gonna wanna just click launch this profile and then it's gonna build your game. And the first time you build it, it might take a while, but then all the other times you build after it, it'll go really quickly. As long as you're like building consistently. I'm always building. I always build my 
games like this even to test them. I don't like testing in the editor. I don't even like testing with standalone. If you're using Unreal front end, you can just keep packaging it over and over again every time you want to test it and it'll go, it'll go really quickly. So because this is the first time I've packaged the game up with front end, it's got all these shaders to compile. But like I said, any other time you package it, it'll go really quickly. And I'll show you that when this is done. All right, as you can see, it built successfully. And this is the first time I've built it and I don't have any errors. I was kind of hoping I would get some errors because if you get an error, it won't build. It'll actually stop and there'll be like an X here. And then you can scroll up and see what the error is and why it's not building. I didn't get any of those though. So if you run into those issues, just go over the error and then like start by Googling the error that you get and see if other people have experienced it. Otherwise it might be a plugin or who knows, it, it just errors happen and they can be really annoying. If you're in the Unreal Slackers Discord, you can come in here and ask questions. There's a packaging section here. So just, so just come in here and paste the errors and hopefully someone can help. As you can see here, someone put this one here. So this guy's having issues with Android. This guy is having an issue as well. So you just gotta hope that someone's in here that will be able to help you out. But anyway, hopefully it built successfully for you. You can click done. And now in my project, I have the Windows No Editor folder. And here is the project. So I'm gonna launch it. And I'm in the wrong map. So I'm just gonna Alt F4. So you might be thinking, what the heck happened? Well, I thought we selected the demo map here. Well, we did, but there's actually some more things we need to do. So let's go into our project settings. You can close this, that's fine. And I'm gonna go to packaging here. So we're gonna do a little bit more here just to be safe. So I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna select cook only maps and then create compressed cook packages. I'm gonna select these two. And then right here, list of maps to include in a package build. I'm gonna add one and you're gonna to wanna to add for every single map. So then you click this and then you have to find your maps. So let me see where demo map is. I'm just gonna to go to content and then do demo map. Demo map is in LPS Deluxe 2 Tropical. Okay, so I just gotta go find that. LPS right here, example maps, demo map map. there it is. So just browse to wherever your maps are. Ideally, you'll have a folder where you have just every single map, so it's easy. And you're gonna to have to add a new array element for each map in your game. You can also say what directories to never cook if you want. There's just some more stuff here you can look over. Sometimes people do a full rebuild. This is so every time you build, it'll just do a full rebuild. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Unreal front end here and I'm going to build the game again. So this time you'll see that it should build much quicker. It won't need to compile all those shaders again because it just did that. You can see it only took eight seconds to cook I haven't edited this at all and it's already done. So, so if you look right here, it took 14 seconds to build it a second time. So very quickly, that's why I like using this software. So now let's try to run this again. Maybe we'll be on the correct map this time. No, we're not. And that's because I missed something. We need to go to maps and modes. Game default map needs to be our demo map. For a real game, it should be like your main menu. And then if you're doing a multiplayer map, you might have a server default map and a transition map. This is if you're doing seamless loading, things like that. Okay, let's try to package this one more time. Here we go, let's launch. Again, it should go very quickly. And it's done, this one took 18 seconds. So, you can go back here, let's launch it again. All right, now I'm at the correct map. So I'm playing and picking up my stuff, cool, cool, cool. All right, so there you go. So don't forget to set your game default map here to the main menu or whatever map you want to load initially. This is just a step I forgot to do, but now that I did it, it's now working. And you can see that the game packages extremely quickly. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope it helps and I'll catch you next time.